Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for March 19th, 2023, from Proverbs chapter 8. Wisdom Speaks. Previously, we mentioned that wisdom can be equated with faith. That faith and trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ is the greatest wisdom of all. But now it seems that, strangely enough, wisdom is actually going to speak to us. Wouldn't it be interesting if the Christian faith that is we hold on to and trust somewhat speaks to us? Well, it actually does through God's word. But now let's hear what wisdom has to say from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. So it seems that wisdom along, that is faith, works alongside with prudence, knowledge, and discretion. So these things really shouldn't surprise us. It makes sense in the Christian life that in law, that we do have prudence, knowledge, and discretion. Verse 13, the fear of the Lord is hatred of evil, pride and arrogance, and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. So there is no gray. It's either good or bad. Because hatred is one of those words that seem to get our attention. And God's word clearly states that it hates evil. We shouldn't be surprised because evil cannot stand in the presence of God. Please note this isn't a tolerance of evil, like let's just all get along but a hatred of evil. In today's world, which is super sensitive to the idea of hate speech, God's word is actually giving us hate speech. So our world around us may not like what God's word has to say, but God clearly hates sin and cannot be in the presence of sin. So God's word doesn't sugarcoat sin, and neither should we as Christians who are following our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. And then now wisdom changes direction from hatred to what's really good. Verse 14, I have counsel and sound wisdom. I have insight. I have strength. By me, kings reign and rulers decree what is just. By me, princes rule, and nobles, all who govern justly. So God's word teaches us that wisdom is a wonderful asset for leaders. Now, to be fair, not all leaders believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. But for those who do and who take the Christian faith very seriously, the people they serve are truly blessed. Verse 17, I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. Now, God does desire all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. But as wisdom is speaking, note that wisdom loves those who have faith and trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And there's a nice, wonderful benefit as we continue to study God's word and continue to attach ourselves to God's word and sacraments, we gain more confidence in the Christian faith. So wisdom describes it as those who diligently seek me, find me. As Christians, we realize we have been found by wisdom. God first comes to us. But again, as we continue to attach ourselves to God's word, as we diligently study God's word, you could say we have even more wisdom. Probably a better way of putting it is we have more confidence in the Christian faith. Verse 18, riches and honors are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even fine gold and my yield than choice silver. So the fruit of wisdom, the fruit of faith, is better than gold or silver, the riches of this world. And it's true, the things of this world we cannot take with us to eternal life, but faith 
is the one gift we have that brings us to eternal life. So while you can't take it with you, accept for faith. Verse 20, I walk in the way of righteousness, in the paths of justice, granting an inheritance to those who love me and filling their treasuries. I like to look at that inheritance that we receive from wisdom as the gift of eternal life, which, if you think about it, is the greatest of all treasures. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for listening, and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.